I thought it might be fun to do a review video each week. Basically it's going to cover what happened with my writing as well as any interesting news I stumbled across. We'll start with a writing update. I managed 32 pages on the new novel, which is okay but not fantastic. That's manuscript pages, not finished pages. Each one is about 250 words. The Heart of Alchemy, book 6 of the Portal War Saga, came back from the copy editor and I'm nearly done going through the edits. Finally, the Hidden Tower audiobook is out now on Audible and Amazon. The Great Northern War audiobook is awaiting approval. I'll be sure to let you know when it's approved. Also, Amazon decided to lock the reviews on one of my urban fantasy novels, The Impossible Wizard. They never said a word to me about it. I only found out about it when a customer contacted me and said she couldn't leave a review. Two emails have gotten me no help so far. We'll see what happens. A final piece of news. The Portal Thieves, book three of the Portal War saga, and the book whose art you can see on the screen right now, went live last Friday, if you want to check it out. Now for a couple of news items that caught my eye. The first one is about Gal Gadot and a new movie she's working on. It seems she's been cast as Cleopatra, and I know what you're thinking. What's the big deal? She's an actress. They get cast in parts all the time. That's absolutely right. In a sane world, I wouldn't even be mentioning this. Personally, I couldn't care less who plays a long-dead Egyptian queen. The reason I'm talking about it is the reaction it's received. I'm not going to show the tweets here, but the mob came for her in a vile, ugly way. The things people said, it just blows my mind. I mean, I knew Twitter was accessible, but oh my god, this was beyond terrible. It's a movie. She didn't commit genocide or something. She just got cast in a part that maybe you think she shouldn't have. Get over it. I know it's probably too much to ask, but maybe before you wish death on a woman whose only crime is being an actress, take a breath and think about it. Yeah, I know. We're more likely to get hit by a meteor than we are to get any kind of a reasonable reaction out of people on Twitter, but a man can hope, can't he? The second item of note this week is the canceling of Shelby Steele by Amazon. Mr. Steele and his son, a director and filmmaker, made a documentary film called What Killed Michael Brown. They tried to upload it to Amazon's Video Direct platform. Two weeks later, it was rejected for not meeting their quality expectations. Mr. Steele is a senior fellow at the Hoover Institute and his son a professional filmmaker. I seriously doubt quality was the issue. I suspect his failure to follow the favored narrative is the problem. Personally, I don't care one way or the other what anyone thinks about Michael Brown and Ferguson. What pisses me off is seeing someone, anyone, have their work suppressed like this. Everyone should be free to share their thoughts on any subject, whether you like it or hate it. I'm going to include a link to their website where you can check it out and make up your own mind. Which is exactly what Amazon should have done. And don't get me wrong, I'm not an Amazon hater. I've been a Prime member since it began. And Kindle gave me a career as a writer. But like them or not, when they do something I see as wrong, I have to say something. This was a mistake, one that should be fixed as soon as possible. Anyway, that's all for this week. Just a quick reminder that you can find all my books on my website, jameswisher.com. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.